Okay, 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 Gemini's. <laughs> the camera cut off, but it cut off right as we started your reading. That's when the battery gets full and things start happening. But anyway, these are the cards that came out. Um, what, let me just kind of sort of run back over what I said before, make sure we don't miss out on anything in your reading. I actually gave you all the questions first. Every Sunday we have questions, okay? And so let me run down those questions because, again, like I said, right after I started the questions, the camera cut off. And that's how I started your video is with the questions. The first question, uh, right now we're in a, um, right now Mercury is retrograde. That's yours in Virgo's ruling planet. Um, right now, um, we are experiencing the waxing crescent moon. So as the moon begins to wax, um, it's becoming even your feelings, intuition, your subconscious habits, your moods becoming even more intense, right? So, but this, this couple of days that we're in right now is time for rest. Deciding now that we're out of a last cycle, we're in a new cycle. What are we, what seeds are we planting for this new cycle, right? So here are the questions that you want to focus on while everything else is people could be going haywire in the workplace and people in your family and friendships could be going haywire, but you have something to focus on, right? So here are the questions. First question is, do you connect to your core, your center daily? The second question is, how do you express your creative side? The third question is, <clears throat> is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? The fourth question is, do you protect your energy and time by politely saying no to requests and invitations that are not aligned to your being? And then last but not least is, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? So those are the questions. And so these two cards came out. We had the God card and also the Temperance card. And what I was saying to you all, Gemini's is that you all have a guardian angel really trying to help you to not let your water evaporate. And what I mean by that is that because you're an air sign, a lot of overthinking to this water, like somebody's been really expressing themselves, possibly saying, I really wish I could meet some people on my frequency. You know, I have, com I know I'm a compassionate person, but it's to be nice if I can meet some people on my frequency. And the way you're going to meet people on your frequency is to stay in your light. So on your purpose, you know how you meet people who are, you know, in the same field as you or somebody who's in the same type of business that you're in. If you're a healer, connecting with other healers or and it, even there, they need to be care carefully vetted. If you're an educator, if you feel like that's your purpose, connecting with other educators. So source really wants you to stay in alignment with what your purpose is so that when you meet people the vetting process is not as difficult as it would be if you were just randomly entertaining energies because this is what you're headed towards. You're headed towards meeting people who are just as creative as you are, people who are just as at peace as you are, you know, those kind of energies. So that's where you wanna that's where you wanna focus your attention, not on um, you know, like some some people put together a list of you know, what they want in their universe. Like if you had, if you had an opportunity to invite some energies to the table, right? This is your table, right? If you have some energy to opportunities to invite some energies to your table, what would those energies look like? That's the list you want to put together this week. You know, that's the list you want to put together this week because that's the energy that you're calling to you. Okay. So that's what you want to put together this week. All right, we have the Nine of Swords. We also have the Knight of Cups. We also have the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and also the King of Wands. So you're certainly king of ideas. I'm talking to men and women, Gemini. You're certainly king of ideas. You know, you're king of inspiring people, king of motivating people. That's what this is, right? You're king of, um, you know, mental clarity. You can certainly communicate exactly what you want. So use this time where Mercury is currently retrograde, which is a great thing, by the way, because planets don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace, but it gives you an opportunity to slow down and really think. That's why I said to you, your message is very clear. Sit down and decide who you want to invite to your table. Like if you were putting together a party of creatives, what would those energies, like down to everything, the, I mean, clear what, what do they look like? What kind of energy are they bringing? You know, what kind of ideas are they coming up with? That's what you want to put together because somebody has been like this for too long. Somebody has been like this for too long. You know, your skin crying out, your eyeballs sweating, 
you know, could look like tears, frustrated, you know, and sources trying to make you booked and busy. So somebody definitely has a lot of very creative ideas that can make you booked and busy. And what source is saying, you got to save yourself and start speaking things into existence, start getting excited about it. It's like you um, opening up a new store and saying, I can see clothing and all the other um, goods, products, and services flying off the shelf. I can see the line wrapped around the building. I can see that in the spirit realm. So source is saying, start speaking it into existence right now. If you see this table coming together and you see people at that table, that's a very creative eclectic group of people or people who are just you know just as creative or wildly creative as you are then hey people who are thinking outside the box that's what you want to start thanking source for in advance because you've already been through enough heartbreak you've already been through enough disappointment and so source is saying okay don't you think it's time to cry happy tears don't you think don't you think it's time to you know the if, if you want the soulmate energy or the soul tribe or the soul this is your soul tribe. If you want this energy to come together, then you're going to have to speak it into existence and not entertain anything but that. See, part of the problem is that somebody has entertained other than that. Like, well, I don't want to seem like a bad person. I don't want to seem like I'm being mean. I don't want to seem like I'm judging. Hey, if it's not on the same frequency, it's just not on the same frequency. It's better for you to admit to it to yourself very early on than for you to just go all in and then find out, okay, we're not on the same frequency. We're, we're just not on the same frequency. Here we have the Two of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and also the Queen of Pentacles. More money, more money, more money. I'm telling you. So we're just trying to make somebody booked and busy, like double booked and busy. I'm telling you, Gemini, do not entertain anything in your love life, friendships, uh, professional life that does not align with your purpose because if you do it's going to wait it's going to be a waste of time you gonna you're a thinker you're going to sit around and overthinking it and drive yourself crazy that's what this eight of swords is somebody who is self-sabotage overthinking something if it's not on your frequency you all don't have the same you know and you trying to figure out why why didn't such and such work out Sources like because it's not on the same frequency. It's that simple. It's not always that people are bad people. Yeah, people would seem that way if you're not on the same frequency. Do I? So I do see, I do see you have the whole world in front of you, and I do see you conquering your. Um, I do see you conquering those those fear and those doubts. You know that's you know saying I'm slaying those demons. Whatever my demons are of overthinking it and woe is me and this happened and I don't understand. I see you slaying your demons, and I do see you traveling, meeting new people, new opportunities coming your way, because this is how people see you. They see you as a person who the energy of money is so attracted to you, it's not even funny, because you're smart, you're a thinker, you are adaptable, you easily adapt in any situation. Those are those are always winning qualities. Like, you, you're not a person who is just so fixated on something, you can't budge, you just holding on to stuff forever. Source is saying to you, that's what's going to make somebody very wealthy. That's what's going to make somebody very, very wealthy. You just got to pay attention. If it's something in your life right now and God is trying to slow trying to slow things down for you to tell you exactly what it is, that's holding up your money and holding up your tribe and your soulmate or whoever, whatever it is you're trying to call into your, your energy. Source is like, pay attention. I'm sending the messages to you. Be in receiving mode. See, when somebody over gives to something that keeps hurting you over and over and over again, then you really start to question, am I smart enough? Like, what's wrong with me? And you don't even have to say all of that. Source is saying to you, I got your guardian angel right there. God is on your side helping you through this. You're at a higher mind. You know, you don't have to say anything mean or hurtful about anybody. You just need to move on. It's a time for healing. Yep, it's a time for healing. Healing from something. Somebody is definitely healing from something. But when I see all of this creativity in this card, your creativity is also your water, too. It's your emotions. It's your water. It's your joy. It's what pleases you. Somebody has poured a lot into all of that into some things that just did not 
was not reciprocal or what they sent back was not what you wanted, right? It could have been friends betraying you. It could have been, you know, what you put into it. You didn't get that back in return. It could have been love life. You didn't get that back in return. Family relationships didn't get that back in return. And it can cause somebody to be emotionally dehydrated. So this week, what you may want to do is really sit down, Gemini, and replenish your water. Like, focus on what nurtures you. Pull your birth chart. Find out what your moon sign is. See exactly what nurtures your spirit. Listen to your meditation music with water sounds in the background, but free yourself. Freedom. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Yeah. Yeah. Because what will happen is that if you are emotionally dehydrated... With this fire right here, it can come across as this fiery energy, cutting people off quickly, cussing people out, going off, because I'm so frustrated, I'm so tired. And Source is saying, I'm trying to send your people your way, where it'll make a very, you know, you getting back to being funny and telling jokes. And, you know, high vibrating Geminis like to be funny, like telling jokes, like having people laughing. You know, a lot of fun to be around. Very smart. Loves to learn. Like, it's going to return you back to that, Gemini. So, let this um, let this Mercury retrograde help you to return back to who you know you are. A person who is very compassionate. Someone who is very well connected. You know, well respected. Um, someone that energy of money is just is a very attracted to. This right here, you poured out so much emotion to something. It's like money is almost like money is trying to make itself your way. But it's like the money seeds are like, I'm not sure if I should plant myself there because that soil is not necessarily fertile. It's really dry because you poured it out in some other area of your life. So it's time to use this week to replenish that, to connect with fire, do a burning bowl ceremony. Whoever and whatever you thought was that hurt you that bad, it's time to toss their name into a, a burning bowl. You're not hurting them. You're saying, I'm releasing this. I'm cleansing by fire. And so I need to release this. And some of those bridges will be burned forever. And again, but for you, you're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. So congratulations to you all. Because again, your soul tribe is coming up the road. <laughs> Here comes your soul tribe. People who are not going to, you know, be shady or messy or mean spirit or anything. They're compassionate. You know, you will be celebrating together, doing all kinds of things, and also making money together as well. 66, I am positive. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to use faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desire. 66 is your number. And let's look at this card here. Let's look at this card here. Let's look at this card here. So, yeah, somebody needs to get ready for the finer life, finer things in life. Affirmations for patience. These are some things you can say this week along with the questions that I gave you. I am here in this present moment. I have all that I need. I lack nothing. Time is relative. Right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time. All is working for my highest good because it is. That is what I have for you, Geminis. Thank you so much for being patient. And like I said before, we had to redo this video um, because the camera cut off. I think the, the battery was full, so we had to just bring out another camera to make sure we get your video to you. But this is your Sunday video. Hopefully those questions are going to help you get through this week. You'll also know whether you landed on the bright side of the moon or you're landing on the bright side of the moon in the first quarter moon in uh, Leo or on the dark side. But please, please, please use this week release until the 27th or leading up to the 27th to think about what seeds you want to plant. It looks like some of the seeds that somebody will be planting is their soul tribe, possibly a soul mate, family situation, all of those things coming across your path. And I do see you being victorious at doing that. You don't have to overthink this. All you need to do is start planting the seeds and seeing, is there anything in my life right now? Or even if it was an ex, do I still have anything that belongs to them? Ex-friend, ex-lover, ex ex colleagues, anybody that could cause me to be, um, to say anything that seem like I'm not compassionate, even if they did something to you, anything that makes me seem like I'm dry in water, I need to release it. I, I need to release it. Anything that's wearing out my creativity, I need to release it so I can make room, you know, and operate in faith. 
that is what I have for you, Geminis. And I'll see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.